All right, we're back to the reactions. Um, I thought this was an interesting video title. Now, will they justify it correctly? We shall see. And I could, I could actually understand some points that they might come with that Playboy Cardi has ruined the music industry, where I do think that he's inspired a lot, but there are other things that it's not really necessarily in his control, but like a lot of people try to copycat and try to be rare, and it just ruins the whole entire experience because not everybody can be Cardi. So let's see what points they What's have. It's good, y'all. It's your boy Swim, and I'm back in the studio. Up, Shout out to Shay. I'm back at y'all with another video, man. I know y'all seen the title. Playboy Cardi has ruined the music industry. Uh, let me explain real quick. You know what I'm saying? Cardi, y'all know, y'all know Cardi, has put a sort of, you know, mysterious cloak over that underground ever since dropping a whole lot of red. Shout out one of the greatest albums of all time. You know what I'm saying? Fucking love Shout that out album. My boy. But now niggas want to act like punch Donnie Phil you know y'all know the the fucking groundhog on groundhog day like that's how niggas want to act they just want to pop out the ground when they feel like the time is right yeah see at one point I think it was like a year ago or something I said that Cardi made Rick Owens hype beast now I don't know if hype beast culture is really even that prevalent anymore I feel like the opium culture on tiktok and everything is kind of like the new hype beast everybody wearing rick owens and i don't even know like leather black pants that destroy lonely if looks could kill type vibe you know what i mean like emo goth chick girlfriend it looks like you cut yourself type shit yeah i just feel like everybody trying to be doing that and uh it makes it like if i see any of those people in real life i'm like yo what the hell these people are real like, nah, they're NPCs. Now, if you can actually rock it, I support you, but it takes a specific type of individual to do that. And me personally, I would look corny as hell. I'm also a grown man, so I, leather pants, I start chafing like a bitch. And drop, like, nigga, you're not Cardi, bro. But I feel like this needed to be looked into deeper, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, we got the Opium Twins who do it, and that can be annoying, but, like, it's understandable, you know what I'm they're under Cardi, so like they get the pass because they're kind of looking up to him as in he has the final say with their creative control. I mean, he probably doesn't do all too much, but like they can roll like him just because they have a very similar brand. They're, they are the Opium Twins, his label. Gotta follow your father's footsteps, you know what I'm saying? But then there's niggas like Dom Clonio. Shit, that's it. Dom Corleo, my fault. Who wait a year to drop some straight ass like this? Like just li damn. I feel like I feel like he was dropping singles, right? As long as you're supplying singles or even like archive page or host page on SoundCloud, like you're giving something. But like literally, Cardi, people gotta leak his whole entire catalog themselves. Like it's not like he wants it, but his whole team even gets mad about the the documentary leaking and then get mad at me and i'm like dude i didn't do anything what are you talking about i'm i don't even know i know c plus plus but i don't even know how to code anything how am i supposed to get into anybody's files but as i was saying i feel like dom corleo been dropping right a lot of people have as long as you're doing soundcloud you're chilling listen to this shit like okay yeah i ain't i'm not even gonna say anything okay we're past that. Y'all know what I mean? Like, niggas want to wait to... I feel like he was trying to pull, like, a Teen X type thing. It just sounded like his voice was cracking as opposed to being the fetus voice. Just a drop straight garbage, you know what I'm saying? And then we got Hard Rock, who I actually like, by the way going to the fucking military to be mysterious like i promise it is not that serious my nigga like damn man i feel like he probably already enlisted before his music blew up right like i'm sure i'm sure he's not going to the military for the purpose of like oh yeah people are gonna be fiending for my music while i'm out here in afghanistan or did we pull out of there pause well you know what i'm saying like just rocking m14s and shit nobody 
that's not the whole premise behind it. And also, I think he's out of the military at this point. Like he was uh, at fashion shows with Filthy Starboy, probably with Ian Connor at some point. So I think it was at the Leaks fashion show as well. So he's he's out here. He's they're doing it on purpose though. So I will give you that. I'm like, fucking y'all had Mr. Fucking Mr. Thirty Three himself being the underground of equivalent of a disciple in the fucking BC Jesus days, letting the world know of the hard rock update. Like that that's how deep it's getting, nigga. Like it is not it is not this deep, I promise y'all, but it is though. It's that deep, bro. Because why is hard rock like the number one seed right now in the underground? Because he's so rare. But again, you have to have good music first then you become mysterious because if you do the other way around like or you don't have enough music out like people just won't care however if you have no music out i do have a theory that if you start a so saying with cardi or i feel like ian connor kind of by the transitive property because he's cool with cardi it's kind of like opium type branding that you don't even have to have music out and people will still be fiending for that shit just because like <laughs> there's some mistake. They got a spell on the whole industry. I swear to God, Cardi definitely sold his soul and he has some sort of satanic tattoo. He does have Satan on his neck. I'm, I'm actually playing here, but it's definitely fishy. Also niggas out here thinking they can call themselves vamp leak. But yes, you heard me. Well, he changed his name to lifeless garments. Which was a good move in my opinion, because yeah, if you, even if you had the name Vamp in your name before whole lot of red drop, like people are going to be calling you a clone. It's, it's, there's no if, ands, or buts. You heard me, bro. Vamp leak. He's fire I, though. He is fire. Come on. Come on. All right, what the fuck? Nigga name so ass, he had to use a pseudonym, like bruh. Also, Vamp leak had space ghost perp out here apparently he sent a the laptop and he broke it but dude is like autistic so who cares like space ghost perp threatened me saying that he was gonna shoot me in the head and i'm still here that was like two three years ago he's threatened me multiple times like him having him being an enemy of you does does not matter at all he's literally schizophrenic sorry not autistic SGP his whole laptop to get signed, bro. Like, y'all, y'all gonna. He's not signed, I don't think. And he's with Ian Connor, too, with like the whole hard rock situation. I'll see for yourselves, bro. Don't worry about it. He emailed, he mailed me his laptop and he wanted me to mix his, um, he wanted me to mix his, his, uh, his album or whatever the fuck i don't know he wanted me to sign his laptop or something like that this is his laptop right here i don't know what this first of all you got <laughs> this nigga got an apple what logo on a hp desktop so we just gonna uh, don't do this honestly just having that story I mean, he probably backed up his files on a drive or something. So you lost the two. That laptop's probably a hundred bucks at this point. Less than maybe 50. So it's not like you lost that much. And you got all the clout from a Space Ghost perp, like just being a dick to you. It's like, it's not even embarrassing, but I will. I mean, sending a whole ass laptop when you can literally just send him a session file. But it, you get the point. He He's getting the clout from the Space Ghost perp beef all right and this is what we gonna do all right that's what we gonna do all right i don't know you and i never met you all right how do you get the address i'm breaking this shit too because your music is so fucking trash <laughs> it's so fucking trash you're not getting it back Cause honestly, I'm gonna be so honest with you. <laughs> your shit is trash. Leak, that's what your name is, Leak? Nigga, <laughs> you're not getting this shit back.
over for. All right, enough of this clip. I feel like he talked for like a minute and 30 seconds and then just Space Ghost Perps taking over. He, he, this is really Space Ghost Perps YouTube channel. Bro. The worst mixtape. Now, bro. as you. Bro, that was literally like. Okay, it ended 4.30. It started 2.30. That was two minutes out of a five minute video. Bruh, come on. <laughs> now, as you can see, that nigga is demented. But don't let it distract you from the fact that he has a point. Now, obviously, everybody want to be all black, dark shadow, sign of opium, whatever, nigga. But I suggest to tone it down a bit, you know, like be yourselves and come really into your music as an artist. Dom Corneo, if you listening, I'm talking to you. I love you Damn, I feel like he really could have made some good points, but like just stuck very superficial. Essentially, everybody got to stop being mysterious. Everybody got to. Stop trying to do the upside down cross, opium, dark, all black swag because we need some different people in this lane. And I feel like the opium situation is getting a little bit saturated because I understand it's like a it's like a money glitch or it's the meta. It is the it is literally the meta right now. Start rapping on like hard rock, destroy lonely type beats. Do uh, I, don't, I don't even know. You get you get what I'm saying. Like the new Dom Corleo type type flows and you got at least you're going to get some views, some SoundCloud reposts. You're going to get a buzz on TikTok and everything like people are, just can't get enough of this sound as well as the aesthetic um, of all the all the black leather Rick Owens situation. You got to look the part. So if you look like that and you make that music, your views are going to go up. However, I, I understand the the thought process behind it but at a certain level when you get your own following at least move into a different lane kind of like coach he did where he was like he he was labeled as the playboy cardi clone for the baby voice and then now he's kind of his own thing so maybe some artists will start doing that um but yeah man we just need some more diversity all the underground right now is just opium. There are some good artists that are aside from that. But as you can see, the underground is kind of dead. And why? It's because everything was opium or yeet. And then now that yeet's up and now that loan and can are up, like no one's really, no one really has the spotlight because they're not too different than what even the mainstream artists like Cardi are doing. So we got to do better as a society, bro. That's it.